really bad in Longview right now. Now, uh, dense fog, yes, yeah, certainly, but again, it's patchy dense fog this morning. It's not going to be foggy all morning, but we will certainly see the fog here and there. Here are those visibility readings right now. The Trinity River Valley, notorious for bad fog when conditions favor it. And this morning, the conditions do favor it. And for our central and northern counties, that's where we're seeing some of the densest fog, anywhere from a mile of visibility to less. And obviously, that long view reading is a little out of date, and we will continue to see those readings decrease here over the next 30 minutes. Now, a secondary concern of mine is the potential for freezing fog this morning, and a couple of those locations are dangerously close to the freezing mark. You can see in Longview, Marshall, Mineola, Mount Pleasant, Nacogdoches, at or just below freezing, also Crockett and Palestine, also right at that freezing mark. Futurecast has us in the middle 30s by 6 o'clock. Of course, you could subtract a few degrees from that. Upper 40s by 11, and that will burn the fog off, so I am not concerned after about 10 o'clock this morning. So good news for you. And then as we roll into about the three o'clock hour, that is when I do expect those temperatures to climb into the middle to upper 50s. And those will be your high temperatures for today. And then heading into the overnight hours, clear skies are expected to persist. That will allow our temperatures to once again fall into the upper 30s and lower 40s before we ultimately rebound back into the 60s by tomorrow afternoon. So we're stair stepping the temperatures and it is going to get warm here over the next several days. I'll show you that in the seven day here in just a bit. But just to summarize today, fog early, sunshine late. We hit 58 for a high temperature tonight. We're down to about 39, mostly clear and relatively mild for us. And just looking over the next six to 10 days, this gets us into the heart of the holiday season just after Christmas into early next week. And guys, I wish I had better news, but it looks like it is going to be very warm with minimal rain chances. That is not what we want to see because of the drought conditions we have. And look at these temperatures, just absolutely ridiculous for this time of year. Highs are going to be in the 70s and 80s. Lows not even getting into the 50s. We're talking about lows in the 60s as we head into next week. I know a lot of people enjoy that weather, but we really need to see the rain and anytime we've got warm and dry air that we're going to have, it really exacerbates the drought situation. And there it is on your screen right there. Upper 70s Friday and Saturday. We hit 81 Sunday upper 70s for your Monday. Deep East Texas, same trend. 50s today, 60s tomorrow, 70s return Thursday and Friday, but just in time for Christmas. If you were wishing for 80s, well, it looks like you're going to get it Saturday afternoon and even through Sunday afternoon. For the latest weather forecast, you can head on over to KETK.com. Thank you very much.